Alright, so today's adventure, I'm gonna take you to see this beautiful place in the heart of Bangkok and that is the Grand Palace. Um, if you go on Google and search, you know, things to see or things to do in Bangkok, it will appear as the number one recommended on TripAdvisor. So today I decided to, you know, go ahead and uh, have a check it out. Um, so I'm staying near Khao San Road and I'm gonna walk there. Uh, it's gonna take about 30 minutes. So yeah, let's go and have a look and see how it is. Okay, I just got here. It's just right outside of the Grand Palace. And as you can see behind me, that's the view of the Wat Phuket Temple. All right, let's get in there. Uh, so there is the entrance, I think. Yeah, it is. All right, so I just got in. Um, so let's go to the ticket counter all right guys I just got my ticket so it cost 500 baht or about $15 to get in that's not too bad so let's walk in like I said today is Sunday so there are quite a lot of people My photos allows I'm gonna switch this off. or the temple of the Emerald Buddha. So Wat Prakeot or the Emerald Buddha Temple located on the outer court of the Grand Palace, well known for the Emerald Buddha image meticulously carved from a single block of jade. The construction of the temple began in 1783 under the orders of King Rama I. Since then, each successive king has been personally involved in adding, restoring, and embellishing the temple during their reigns as a way of making religious merit and glorifying the dynasty. Right here behind me is the main building where they kept the Emerald Buddha. But unfortunately, we cannot go inside and take picture because um, no cameras allowed. I mean, you can get in to, to have a look, but you cannot go in there and take videos or photos. And this one right here is Chinese Guardian. The Emerald Buddha is known for being sacred, so local people and some foreigners will come here and pay their respect to the statue and oftentimes will ask for blessing. And of course, candles, incense will be lighted and placed in front of the shelter along with some flowers such as the lotus. So this painting on the walls depicts Thai storytelling or folk tales like Parak Param or Hanuman or the monkey figure uh, also known as the monkey commander of the monkey army who is the symbol of strength and energy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to get in there uh, just to have a look. Uh, I want to see the Emerald Buddha. I mean, I mean, come on, come into the temple and let us see it will be a waste. And here's a 
has to be adopted and put it here. Let's get out to see the main court at the Grand Palace. And this is the Grand Palace. This complex building located in the heart of Bangkok is the most visited site in the city and yet the most remembered landmark of Thailand. The Grand Palace was built in 1782 during the reign of King Rama I. It served as a significant royal residence until 1925 and it's now used for ceremonial purposes only. The Grand Palace is divided into three main zones, the outer court, home to royal offices, public buildings, and the Temple of Emerald Buddha. The middle court, which is where the most important residential and real estate buildings are. And right here behind me is the actual building of the Grand Palace, uh, which is the main court or the inner court. And it is exclusively reserved for the king and his queens and his people. Unfortunately, uh, we can't get in. We can only look from outside. But as you can see, it's amazing. It's beautiful and grand and, you know, fabulous. All right, let's get out. Well. I spent almost two hours and I totally loved it. So if you have a few days in Bangkok, I totally recommend uh, for you to come here. It's worth it. I mean, such a beautiful place, especially the park out or the temple of the Emerald Buddha. It's gorgeous. So yeah, do come here. If you come to Bangkok, don't miss it. ผมเอาน้ำมะนาวครับผมครับผมน้ำมะนาวครับกี่บาทครับ